Hey, you Grateful Dead fans. Well, I've been getting a lot of emails. I've been letting them pile up, asking about the rig and the signal chain. And it's really nothing special. And time to get this out of the way and uh, give you what you want, you know. So uh, let's take a look. I'd come this way, if you don't mind. Okay, man. Well, before we start looking at gear, I want to make one thing, uh, a couple things clear. Uh, a, this is not show-off time. Everything I'm going to show you is at least five years old. Uh, B, buy the best quality stuff you can so you don't have to buy it over again. I learned that one the hard way. Uh, C is this. Uh, the more time you spend with gear is the less time you're playing guitar. I mean, if you can play like Jerry, then uh, God bless you, man. Go after the gear. But the gear is uh, second to the fingers. Okay, well, we'll start right here with the gold guitar. Uh, Resurrection, replica, rosebud, one of Jerry's. Uh, solid, uh, solid body, flame maple, coco bolo, uh, mahogany, and uh, ebony. Real sweet. Uh, based on the Paul Reed Smith neck, nice neck. Um, DiMarzio Super Tubes, Kinman SDS1 single coil, five switch uh, standard uh, Strat type. Uh, pickup selector. Uh, these are uh, coil splitters. Double coil, single coil. This is a uh, the effects loop for the um, unity gain buffer in here and the uh, tap. Basically, when there's no uh, tap in there, turns the guitar off, turns it on, turns it off. Um, you know, basic uh, bridge. Battery under here. Inlaid um, Cats Under the Stars. Nothing too much uh, going on on the frets, you know, basic stuff. And uh, Schaller, uh, Schaller machines. Little um, uh, lightning bolt inlay for y'all. And uh, there's your guitar. Tone controls. Bing, bing, bing for the three pickups. And the volume control right here, as per usual. And there you go. It took about a year to get. Uh, I think they're out of business now, unfortunately, but um, there's, the, uh, there's the maker's mark right here. Okay, well, this is your basic boogie, boogie Mesa Boogie Mark IV. Uh, single input, rhythm one, rhythm two, and lead channels. Three channels, uh, clean, mean, scream type thing. There's your rhythm one gain, rhythm two gain, lead gain, you pull it fat, pull it fat, any one of these pull fat. Um, these are your rhythm one treble, rhythm two treble, and rhythm one and rhythm two bass, and both mid range. These are your lead uh, knobs, treble, bass, mid range, and then drive with a bright switch. Uh, it channel controls rhythm one, rhythm two, lead, um, output level, and EQ, foot switchable, we'll get to that. And these are uh, uh, called presence controls, rhythm one, rhythm two, rhythm three, with indicator lights for which rhythm you're on. You know, EQ can play with it, and uh, I do that through the uh, effect unit. And you can pull for recording, that kills the main output and puts it into the, uh, you know, the uh, line out. Standby, power. It's got two power settings, full power, what they call full power, where you're using all the tubes, and tweed power, where you cut them in half. Uh, the back of the unit's got a lot of controls, too, and inputs. This is your EQ, automatic, or uh, set your reverb, which I don't really use. Uh, your loop switches and your auto assigns. Slave out. You know, recording volume out, recording out. You can uh, not use the foot switch and just get your rhythm one, rhythm two with these. And you can go between a class A uh, amp and a, uh, you know, a simul class. Thiode, pentode, switch, who knows what that does, man. I'd leave it on uh, pentode. And uh, external jacks line out. And then your uh, effects in and out. Effect loop, uh, satellite out to it, uh, and there are your uh, six uh, six L six tubes, and the uh, 
the little guys are up front. Transformer, that's the back of the thing. Okay, coming out of the effect loop out of the back of the Mesa is uh, going into this um, TC Electronics. It's called the G Force. It's a guitar uh, effect unit. Um, this is a very uh, complicated little piece of equipment. You got to go read the manual. But basically, uh, you get tons of presets. You know, what is it? What is it got? Maybe uh, 225 presets, and then you you go in there and you program your own. Uh, that would take uh, about an hour, you know, it's a one hour course. Um, auto switches, uh, just too complicated to get into this, but you can program the thing right over in here. You can dial it in over here. You can uh, manually select effects because it's got uh, nine different uh, uh, channels, I guess you'd call it, or uh, slices, you know, a gate. A compressor, filters, a delay, reverb, chorus, drive, pitch, modification, pan, and tremolo, and a built-in tuner. And uh, you can bypass the unit altogether, or you can and you can set the tempo of your uh, effects where you have a pulse to the thing. So that's uh, coming into here and going back out, back down to the amp. That's your effect unit. Uh, this is uh, an ear in-ear monitor from here to here. Uh, you know, radio, here's your antenna, and uh, you plug the babies in your ear, and you, uh, this is a, uh, a little less capable TC electronic, also called the uh, M1. It's basically a reverb unit, and uh, we put the vocals through here just to warm them up a little bit, and this is your basic uh, Furman uh, power s supply. Back into the amp, and then back out of the amp, over to a... Um, what this is in here is a, a JBL E120 uh, speaker that I got off of eBay and threw in here. And uh, this is the Mesa box case. And put the uh, E120 in here and it sounds, uh, gives you that Jerry tone. Here's your foot unit for the switchable channels. Rhythm 1, Rhythm 2, lead. Lead with an EQ, EQ on and off, and uh, the effect loop on and off right there. You know, all the vocals and acoustic instruments and uh, anybody who wants to go through the PA comes into a board. These things can be uh, pretty intimidating the first time you ever see one. I know I was, but if you break it up into hunks, these are uh, channels. One channel, two channel, three channel, etc. Each controlling one instrument. And then you just take this slice, and this all relates to that one instrument. You can pan it left and right. Low, you know, here's your EQ, high, mid, bass. This is how much of the effect goes into your signal, and this is uh, your monitor feed. Uh, this is a trim setting for uh, six of the channels, for, primarily for uh, acoustic instruments. You get a low cut here, and you have balanced or unbalanced XLR or uh, you know standard uh, cable inputs. And uh, now this section up here, this are your effects in and out. This is uh, additional. Uh, this is the inputs for these channels. Up here, up top, is the effects. This is your uh, control room, in and out, line in and out. Move all the way over to here. This is your control room, in and out, volume. This is the main outs. Uh, this is your various assignments, either to the main, what, you, what you're doing with the control room, etc. Read the manual. And uh, master um, effects and uh, uh, the aux controls. Then the back of the unit, which you can't see, has a lot of channel inserts. Yeah, Behringer foot pedal for the um, controls the um, TC Electronic G-Force with two different kinds of mics. One's just for recording. You can't use that in an open environment. This is uh, something or other. I'll get that for you if you need it. And this is an AKG mic. And then uh, over here, uh, right here is uh, Shure M M58. And over there is the uh, old Mackie SRM450. Great, great PA speaker. Fantastic. Can't say enough about them. Good stuff. There you go, man. Uh, the truth is I basically know how to turn it on and uh, turn it up. And uh, that's all you really have to know. There's a lot to know, but I'm not a gearhead. Uh, I just pick it up off the shelf, turn it on, and play. And that's, uh, that's good enough for me.